Hello and welcome to this P video and today we're looking at Transformers Kingdom War from Cybertron Trilogy from Hasbro and this is Red Alert and the box art is absolutely gorgeous as always and let's be honest that's probably the most exciting thing I am going to tell you about this figure because we've seen this figure two times already um, Hasbro is certainly milking some of these figures but it frustrates me because they're not actually giving us the figures that are really hard to find and we really want. Like the Coneheads, for example. Or maybe making Soundwave a bit more easy to buy. I don't know. Bumblebee. The list goes on. So, I just thought I'd have a little whinge. Got a little whinge. And there is that beautiful network Netflix picture because this was released yesterday transformers kingdom and um, watch it don't spoil it for me so um let's get him out of his package so here is red alert and i think we've seen him in netflix version so far and a siege version but um i i can't remember did i buy the Siege? i can't remember i remember buying the netflix version i am not sure if i bought the other version but once again, it's a it is a really nice figure. I love the how the white complements the red. It's got the nice little logo there. Uh, the I guess the head it is a nice head sculpt, but if you get in the wrong position, this chest piece can overshadow it. He has the beautiful gun, which he can put on his shoulder, which is cool. It also comes apart with that, which I do like and i also like pin on the side there and we've seen this little gun with side swipe as well in the past and he also comes with his other gun which doubles up as a hammer but if you don't want it as a hammer you can put it as a gun if i put it actually in the hand piece and he can do that which is very very cool and you know as always, some great detail on there. Great detail on the back as well. You know, this mold has been used to death, let's be honest. They've used it a lot. They've used it a lot. But it's a good mold to have. Why wouldn't you use it if it's that good? So let's bring in some of his colleagues. So here he is with Prime. Jazz. Jazz just there, so it's cool there. We got a little bumblebee at the front, which is awesome. And then we'll stick Will Jack there. And as you can tell, once again, the the height as always looks brilliant. Here is a pint glass to see, so you can see what sort of size you're talking about with a Dulux. That's because it's the only thing that I've got here that I can think of that you could compare that to. I should really get better at bringing a bottle of water to the party, but I always forget. Uh, so, <laughs> so with his uh, colleagues, he looks absolutely awesome. And um, I guess the next step is to transform him into his bot mode. So here is Red Alert uh, transformed once again. We've seen this mode many times with Sideswipe, Red Alert himself, etc. But it does look very, very crisp. I do like the, the Sigma on the top. You can put the little police kind of ambulance kind of sirens on there. I, I, yeah, no, I think he was more ambulance fire rescue, wasn't he? Fire department. That says it all, doesn't it? Should have reread that bit. Just zoom in there. There we go. Uh, you put the guns on the side. I'm always going to say this. I'm not a fan of guns going on the side, but sometimes they do look really cool. So if this was a, a Cybertron um, mode, I would completely agree. Guns going on there, they look awesome, but Earth mode, no, because they're meant, they use this vehicle to be in the sky. So let's bring in Ultra Madness. He's massive. Well, he is kind of, he's not that massive, but you know what I mean. Now we bring in Hot Rod and Cup, just so you can get a feel for 
what kind of size that he is. Remote mode, and there's the pint glass there. I don't know what relevance that has to <laughs> these art mode. But to be fair, they look actually quite cool together. Um, and I, the trouble with that I find with Transformers the movie is there were lots of unknowns. You know, you never knew what happened to uh, Red Alert tracks those guys that were were big figures in season two you you only presumed they lost their lives even though there was a story art thingy that came afterwards that said who they all died and this is how we intended for them to die it wasn't in the movie it's not canon as far as i'm concerned so they could have easily shoved red alert into season three or season four but they didn't because they're too busy trying to sell toys so, a bit, bit, bit of a shame. But I did like his character development in Season 2. In fact, I'm actually watching the, the episode where he... Um, I think he, he gets blasted or something. Because they're going after the Negavator. And um, he goes a bit psycho and tries to... Tries to almost kill him all, if I remember rightly. Because he feels like they're trying to kill him. He goes all paranoid and stuff. Uh, freaking awesome. I love that episode. I'm going to watch it in a bit. First of all, I'm watching Lord of the Rings. First of all, I'll share that with you. As soon as I'm done with this review. But as you can see, as as his art mode looks absolutely fantastic. Um, and easily, I could jump next to these guys and think it's really cool. So one thing that I will say to wrap this video up is... Red Alert is a really cool figure. It's got nice paint apps. It looks beautiful, and if you're a fan of the character, because let's be honest, they did give him a couple of decent stories in Season 2. Um, he's certainly one to get. Um, if you got this before, wouldn't buy it again. But I do give, I do got to give Hasbro credit when they re-release figures to give people an opportunity to get them again. Um, I just wish they would do that with some of the rarer figures, if that makes sense. Because um, that does make sense. And I, I hope they keep giving us new figures as well. Uh, rather than just repaints. Um, because let's be honest. That seems to be the norm with them. With Transformers at the moment. I, I just I hope they haven't lost their way. Let's just say that. So of that beautiful figure. Um, let me know what you think. Please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. Uh, make sure you um, follow my Target 1000 video. I'm giving away a marvelous prize. So make sure you check out that and uh, embrace geekiness. Take care. Goodbye. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, PsychopsSmurd. I'm on Twitter, at SmurdP. No idea what I'm doing there. i am also got a page on Facebook, SmurdP. And embrace the geekiness. Thank you for watching. Take care. Goodbye.